Welcome back to the Gorgons. These corridors of hooligans where something's gone down. This doesn't look safe. <laughs> this doesn't look safe. Is that all you got to say, Garrett? I thought I honestly thought you were gonna say what and here. So either they had a really, really uh, amazing party last night, or I think we might be, this might be uh, the result of the Corrigans, whatever they are. They seem to be blamed for all the uh, damage that's happening. Hear some whistling. That technically is a banner. Important business. Oh. One of the one of these thieves. Record of recent activities. Report written by the hand of Doc. Ten ten. Last send is back with us. It's a great joy. We've all feasted together to our hearts' content to celebrate his return. We were all drunk and Bernice didn't lag behind. That amazing woman can hold a drink as well as any man. Even so, late in the night she eventually collapsed, but not before throwing a last broadside of insults at poor La Bourique, who yet hadn't told her anything. My god, so much vulgarity to come from such a lovely mouth. That's remarkable. I'm happy the boss has come back, as only he can get rid of his tigress of a sister. This morning we all have a headache. Uh, 10 11. This morning we all have a headache, but it doesn't matter as work is awaiting us. The boss has a lot of projects. He plans a visit to Lord Ashley to find a way to disable the surveillance cameras in the collections rooms. Aha, way ahead of you, Lassin. He has discovered that the electric generator controlling those metal heads has been sent to the mechanist maintenance service a little too often. He thinks the system is vulnerable to ambient moisture. Certainly a manufacturing defect. 10.12 Vinny showed up this morning like a fury, shaking all over, his face distorted. He told us that in the sewers a yellowish thing leapt upon him from around the corner in a tunnel and scratched him on the face. He didn't have time to see what it was as he was too busy screaming. He was still screaming when he arrived in the hideout. Johnny shrugged his shoulders, pointed out with his very reasonable outlook that it was probably a sewer spider. The other turned and yelled into his face that he's never heard a spider singing. The creature had sung a little funny song before leaping up to his face and then clearing out with sniggers. 10.13. La Seine and La Bouique have closed themselves in the office all day long. Uh, I wonder what they are plotting. Vinny's wounds are healing well. 10.14. The boss scares me sometimes. He wasn't like that before, but he's changed after his return from Delores prisons. He flies into incredible tempers which go far beyond his sisters, which are legendary. I don't know what's happening. No one has told me anything. It looks like I'm only good for writing logs and healing the little everyday injuries. Bernice has broken one of my cornflower water vials while trying to use it as scent. I'm quite upset as this soothes bruises. I will hide the other one. This girl breaks everything she touches. 10.15. La Seine has gone to the fortress. He took La Bourique along with him. He will only be away for a few days, just enough time to develop a project he hasn't told anyone about. Bernice stays with us, damn. If only old Marta can stand her insolence and vulgarity calmly. If only the boss could have taken her with him. Good riddance. I don't worry that the boss will find out how I feel about his sweet sister. He already knows, and everyone else feels the same way. What is that thing? I must be tired. I thought I saw a yellow... something... across the room. Where was I? Oh well, that's late. My candle's almost used up. No, not again. Hmm. I must not be totally awake as I'm imagining things now. But what is... Oh my god, they're all... I don't understand what's happened. I heard someone running, then was hit, lost consciousness, and... Oh no, all these bodies! Bernice has disappeared. Oh, creator, La Seine is going to kill me. I couldn't protect his sister. Ah, woe is me. The Corrigans, that's what I saw. It was them. They exist. Woe is me. Blood. Everywhere blood. I can't bear it anymore. I am going mad! Exclamation mark. Time six. Oh, it does seem to have decided a uh, retreating to less, san less than sanity is his way out. 
That banner's already been cut. Oh, I still have this one that needs doing. I don't know. Well, I guess it's lucky for me that the uh, these Corrigans have left before I got here. The body on the chandelier is such an amazing touch. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, you have this scene anywhere. You know, and you could this scene could come from any mission, right? It's just like uh, bodies, death, slaughter, and then. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. More, more dirty work for me to... Oh, hello? Aha, uh -huh. the bruise, the bruise, the bruises soothing potion. It's a hard thing to say. Bruises soothing. Oh. There is just time for me to write this for you, Cap. It is them, the Corrigans. We cannot do anything, they're too fast. I had myself in the office, hoping they would find me. They're everywhere. I can hear the screams of the men. Oh my god, on the other side of the door, it is a true shambles. Your sister, Cap. Your sister, they took her with them. I'm so sorry. I saw her struggle and cry out, but I was powerless to deal with this attack. But I swear to myself that if I survive this attack, I will find them wherever they hide, even if it be in hell. Cap, if you find this letter and I have, if I am dead, go to the artist's pub. A strange guy has lived there for a while. I think he's a researcher, and he's carrying on some sort of study about these small beasts. He will almost certainly have information about the hiding place of these blasted creatures. Try to find him. I think his name is Dufour. I th hope that you can make him talk. I also leave you a key to access the east side of the city. Oh, the door. They're trying to break it. I leave you there, Cap, because I think that I have a big problem. Oh, this is not good. Well, I don't know. I mean, all of... Uh... Arsene's men, or most of them, have been disposed of. That's that's pretty good in my book, Garrett. Now, okay, there's a slight complication that they seem to have kidnapped the person we're supposed to meet, Berenice. But, yeah, there's time to worry about that later. Okay, let's just check this scroll. Is there anything... Go to the artist's pub, do four. Okay, let's make a note. Artist's pub. Oops, let me... There we go, beautiful arrows. Um, anything else? Don't think I need to carry this note around with me. <laughs> you heard that. Very noisy piece of paper, okay. Uh... Can't see. Perkins kidnapped Berenice? That's not Berenice. Very nice. Uh, doesn't work. Okay. Empty room. Guess we need to be careful of hearing strange little songs, right? Oh, this just brings us out to the city, alright. <sighs> Where are we? Oh, there's more guards there. Hmm. The northern sewers. Is this where we came out? Surely not. It must be, though. You're the lady that was wandering in and out of the hotel, aren't you? 
Oh, we have a bridge here over the uh, canal. Right, we're right here then. Okay. Oh yes, there is a big closed door there. I thought there was a wall I was seeing through the archway, but now there's a door. Ma'am, um, the door's locked. Uh, I guess she's reading the notices. Oh. Uh, Hero's gonna make a move, and guess who turns up? Oh! Is this the warehouse entrance? She's looking at the brick. The brick ledge up there. I'm wondering if that's the exit from the hotel that we saw? Probably not. Yes, that is. Okay. Is that you? I mean, do you mean me? <clears throat> For the information of all guards, all requests for additional weapons or ammunition must go to Captain Queen upstairs. Okay, well, let's see what additional weapons and ammunition we might be able to steal from these fine fellows. personal effects, but not even valuable ones. Shame. <clears throat> Are you Captain Queen upstairs? I think you're on watch. Hello, that's a switch. Is that going to turn off the lights? And if it does, is it going to get people wondering who turned off the lights and come back to Sir, turn was them? that you? Seems to have turned off the lights out there. That's good. <clears throat> mm. This job makes me jumpy. Okay. I think it's just a window. Yeah, there's a couple of windows. Aha, these people have valuable personal effects. Well, slightly valuable. for someone to have a bunch of fancy beds in a watch station, isn't it? The Captain Queen upstairs is uh, spending some of the budget on uh, their own personal quarters and less on the equipment for the men. Do not disturb me, I'm taking a shower. Captain Queen. I need a key then. Right, we'll go disturb Captain Queen in a minute. Quietly. I suppose we, I suppose we will actually try not to disturb them. Are you coming tonight? Come on, don't put on airs. You won't refuse a good opportunity to get an eyeful. Meet me at activation point one of the big door separating the East District from the West, and I will show you the secret passage and treasures to which it leads. Believe me, spying on Super Fairy's daughters while they are bathing is worth the effort. Activation point one of the big door. Okay, that is probably just worth hanging on to as a reminder. I'm just wondering if maybe there's something secret behind there, but it doesn't look like... Hello? 
And this needs a key, right? Yeah, how about this one? Oh, it's not actually locked. <laughs> Why can't I pick this lock, you think? Why don't I do it? You know what? <sighs> Taking a shower indeed. Just don't turn around, man. Surprised he hasn't got his uniform on his uh, hanging on the code book there. Okay. You remain undisturbed. This is good. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Look at this. There's the flash bombs needed. A whole pile of what arrows. Ropes, noisemakers, moss. I feel less bad about using those two moss in there now. I still have, what, five? Good, good, good. Absolutely beautiful. Question is... Can I return the key to the table without him noticing? Yes. Perfect. Alright, we got in, we got out, the banners are dead. Don't want any banners in here, right? No. We got all the equipment, we got all the banners. That's a beautiful start to this uh, session. What's there? I don't know, maybe you should go to talk to Captain Queen upstairs. No, Will. It's a strange name, isn't it? Queen upstairs. Maybe they're, maybe they're one of its, maybe his mum was Mrs. Upstairs and his dad was Mr. Queen. I don't know. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. Perfect. Lovely. Okay, and there is actually a way through that archway. Right, yeah, the other door out from the hotel would have got there. The only question I do have is just maybe a... Whoop. Okay, she's not going to be bothered by me. Is, uh... Is there maybe a window up there? Would have been accessible. Wow. Since all the horses tramping. What's that archway? Is that just a bricked up archway? And it looks like it. I see, we would have been able to get to those windows. Oh, there's a banner there. You see that? Well, I can't do that one quietly. I would need a crate. hesitant to move because I don't know whether these guys are going to start coming through the archway and there isn't exactly a lot of shadow here. Oh, that would get me up there. Interesting. Okay, that might be a way into the warehouses then. I did just turn all the lights off. Can I get back into the hotel? <clears throat> Maybe it's worth a try? this way and I, there's a bright lamp post there. I will get seen. I'm quite sure if I try to get now. Okay. What's 
a place opposite the hotel. That's a signboard there. Let's go see. There's an archway. Beauvais residence. Well, hang on just one second then. Yeah, so Beauvais residence. We have not robbed him yet, you know. I think I think that's an oversight that needs rectifying. Oh. Okay, it's an oversight that needs rectifying once we get the key. There is an archway there that goes over to. I'm not sure where. Wherever this guard is going. It's just the canal again. They are coming back. It's not good for me. Yeah, more guards. And more guards. little courtyard. It's a very big ladder coming out of the canal. Okay. That will be interesting to explore later, but I think I'm going to try for the warehouses now. Coast here seems clear. It was this guy's window, wasn't it? You know, given that it's bright and I want to cross quickly, let's try to do so without making much noise. Hello? Anyone there? It's all quiet now. I'm sure it was nothing. So far, so good. Hmm. <laughs> Could have leapt, but leaping would make noise. I wasn't 100% sure about the run forward and mantle tactic. Do I use another moss as a question? I guess I I guess I do. Won't cover the whole of it. Okay, that's an excellent vantage point. Two guards, all right. Sign, not the doors. Western warehouses. Property of Sir Delaray. 
I mean, it's not going to make sense to go in the front door, right? No, there's someone right there watching. Oh, he's coming back. Friends gonna be coming back, is it not? Is he not? I'm gonna have yes. Difficulty with the timing of these two guys. Might be a lot of waiting, or I could, I suppose, knock this guy on the head. The other guy I can't. Let's let's just be expedient here. more for this guy to come and go and then we can follow him out. Which was a slightly better place to put him but I think he's not visible there. Didn't notice a thing. Train pipe we can climb? Oh, hang on, not perfect. There's another guard watching the back way. There's a drain pipe here. Can I climb it? I don't know. Don't know if it's that kind of mission. Mm. Oh, there's awkward things. It's a very highly visible drain pipe, so I'm gonna guess maybe. Problem is, if I'm wrong, I have to jump to find out, right? didn't allow him. So apparently I cannot climb the drain pipe. So how am I going to get past this guy's? Oh, I guess if I sneak around the corner, I can get behind the crate. If I crouch, stay crouched. Should be able to get by without him spotting me, but... Those vine arrows from last mission would be useful here. Get straight up onto the catwalk. This place is well guarded. Better be lots of valuables in here. Just good enough. Great, just what I need. Time for them to be recognized. Hey, is someone there? Just what I need. Yes, sir. Hey, is anyone there? Enough to break in here. <laughs> There's a crate there. <clears throat> hmm. How do I do this? I, mean, I guess I could look for a light switch, but. Oh, hello. Wood. Alright, we're gonna go up there. We're gonna wait till this guy goes. We're gonna close these doors behind us. And dash over to. Uh, to the crate again. I'll 
Can I not close the doors behind me? There we go. Thought I saw something. Just the jitters, I guess. You just saw the jitters. <laughs> Does sound like there's somebody up there. Clanging across metal. No, where's where's this metal clanging I'm hearing? Maybe it's inside. Inside at last. It's a bot workshop, I guess. Bot repairs. Almost beautiful. Okay, what do we got here? Some warning about the elevator. Elevator out of order. Waiting for the kind attention of a qualified dromid technician. Well, there is a ladder, so out of order elevator is not particularly a problem for me. Oh, that's the metal thing yeah, I was hearing. Okay. That's that's a big metal ramp. I don't think I want to go up that ramp. I assume that's just the same note. like nothing. Who's over there? Nobody? Can't be too careful. Is that coming or going? Seems peaceful enough now. I think he's coming back. Yeah, coming back, definitely. Oh, somebody else. Alright. Mechanists. See if that guard that we uh, stuck past has anything for us. If not, I'm going back up the ladder with the moss. I don't want to. I don't want to try going up this ramp even with moss. But someone uh... there. If I can talk without the clanging drowning me out. Uh, with the help of some moss, we can get over the catwalk up the top. Work pretty easily, I think. <sighs> Thank you, Garrett. <sighs> it's fine, we didn't spook anybody, so... Go on, we'll just drink that. I'll take the damage. Mm. I'm going to do another one as well, right there. So I can just leap and get to the door. Even get to the door, he says, as he leaps onto the metal. Yeah, well, he's upset, isn't he? I don't think he's a threat, though. Great work, Kat. Beautiful work. Kat, there's people all over this place. Where did you 
come from? Where the hell did he come from? Just came running up and... I wasn't making noise, I just glanced around the corner. All I can think of is that somebody heard my jump onto the metal, like that's the mechanist who was going down, up and down the ramp in there. That he heard my jump onto metal and then been running around to this point the whole time I was uh, waiting there. It's great. Well, we're not going to make any progress. I, I don't. There's not enough darkness for me to knock people out. Or room to manoeuvre. So I'm just gonna have to sit and wait. I don't like having any gas. I guess I got flash bomb. Maybe I should just go up there and flash bomb them. That didn't work. <laughs> Blinded myself and not them. Try that again. I have the builder's patience on my side. Ah, curse thee! You seem to be recently. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to knock him out. Heads are gonna roll now. Who's fed there? <laughs> Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm gonna go back for plan A. Let's wait for things to calm down. There's bloody people you can't knock out are... And many more guards around the corner. It's, it sucks, but... We're gonna have to have more patience than the builder. Could try going up the ramp, but no, they're gonna calm down very soon. And if indeed those are the guards from down there, then they should leave me alone once once it's gone. Yes, I can hear them going down the ramp. So the sound... The other thing that might have been possible is he saw me through that other door, because bloody red doors are completely transparent to AI, which is really annoying. You can't, it's not that they see through the top of it, generally speaking. Uh, Usually they just see through the entire door model. See, that's what they're supposed to do. All right. <laughs> so let's not stand in front of the door if we pick it. Just in case. Yeah, that's the guy, well, one of the guys who saw me. And here comes the mechanist dude who saw me. that room but this guy's already turned around and coming back. What's this? <laughs> Shit. Good, 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 good. Wow, seven apples and one hit point. 
six carrots and one hit point. Not doing too well on the health here. <sighs> I guess those two I could have flashed and knocked out, but... Well... <laughs> Benny! <laughs> I haven't heard that line in a very long time. Keep alert! We've, we've got a code... Uh, code... Uh, code... Uh, we've got a break here! <laughs> Yeah. Even if it's completely anachronistic. Talk about a code, whatever. Is that the blue guy who couldn't be knocked out that was up there before? Or are there more? I think I'm going to start knocking people out there fairly expeditiously. I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak through. Not Especially not now that everybody's uh, riled up. I mean... The guard walking right by me. I was in full darkness. If he hadn't already been riled up before, he would have just failed to notice me entirely. But uh, once alerted, the guard is a lot less safe. Okay, did it again. Okay, you ask for it now. Have at him, friend. You are killed on holy growth. Shit, two, two flash. Two flash bombs. Help us, death most untimely. Murder. I think that's my blood there. Oh, somebody's, somebody's coming up the ramp, I think. Carrot! Come on now, come on, just one move, Tapper, in your mind. Get outside doesn't bother me, but this guy does. He's not dead anyway, you uh, should have checked his pulse. He's breathing, he's just... Darkness is... The ambient level is weird here. It doesn't feel like I'm in darkness, but it says I'm in pretty decent darkness. Where are you, you okay. seem to have quietened down somewhat. Oh well, you know, it's good if Sir Delaray knows who robbed him, right? It's like leaving a calling card. Uh, a calling card made of bodies. Let's get the the wrong carry icon and the wrong carry model, but the carry model normally uh, doesn't change in thieves. So. 
Definitely a calling card made of bodies. All right. Okay, so is there anything down here except that big metal plank? Plank ramp. Technical time. Yes, there is. Shortcuts? Okay. I mean... Oh, are those... Mines active? No. Secret? I mean, maybe they're active, I don't know. They don't seem to be. How's that a secret? It's just through this door. You hear? Do you reacting to the lock breaking noises? I guess maybe he is. Evil stench shall unhide thee. Evil stench. I'll have you know my stench is very holy. It's been blessed by the priests of the builder. I specifically went up to them one day and said, Priest, I don't believe in all this builder claptrap, but I need a, I need a stench blessed. Do you have a blessing for a stench? And he said, Out, foul weed! Brothers, we have a thief among us. Or something like that. It sounded like a blessing. You know what? You might want to join your friends. Ah, mm -hmm. ah. eyes in the back of your head. Okay, that seems to be probably everyone upstairs. Judging by um, the fact I'm not hearing any more footsteps. What a collection. <laughs> I'm surprised the mechanists left that banner up. Meeting room. Ah, this would have been a good place to aim for, but uh, turn the lights off. Put down the banners. Read the minutes of the last meeting. It is. <laughs> I was just go joking, but no, it is. Meeting minutes. One, please always close the doors behind you. Two, because of the recent invasion of Corrigans, all guards on leave are now called back on duty without delay to reinforce the current guard. Three, empty the hammerite place as we doubt they'll ever return to get back their toys. Ah, okay, it was a hammerite banner. Four, a note to the accountant. At the request of our master, Sir Delray, a list of all lodges of occupied rooms will be established and a following check of the rent repayment period validity will be made. Sir Delaray emphasized also that the sole exception to the rule will be granted to the mechanists, who have always been perfect debtors. We don't want to spoil our good relationship with them. Uh, oh, the, the, huh, interesting. Five, following the theft of the key of his personal warehouse from his own home, Sir Delaray has asked us to change the warehouse lock. We are actually waiting for a delivery of the device from the mechanist's factory, Captain Le Breton. Okay. So they have not changed the locks yet, which is good news for me. Ah, there's the there's the lock. What have we got here? Some boring books, some beautiful cups and wine bottles. And more moss. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna close that door. Banners to deal with. Report, friend, friend there. Did thou notice anything unsavory? Didst thou see that shadow move? 
The wind plays tricks on me today. Twill leaves in mine ears rustling so, but they're gone now. Why did you have leaves in your ears, man? Very strange. Very strange indeed. Uh, don't notice. This is more leaves in your ears, all right? Why ah, your gears? Lend me I did gears. hear a noise. Hurry, friend! Where this intruder, friend? Arm thyself and hither now! Hey, I knocked you out, man. Shit. He does not respond to being knocked on the head. That's... Unusual. All right, whatever. Anything else of value in here? Secret passages? No? Well, let's just assume he's going to uh, not find anyone to help him out and come back. Is there anything else in here? <sighs> Strange arrangement of crates, but uh, no, it doesn't seem to be anything else. Premises of Sir Delore. Okay, that's the meeting room. This is another room I've not been in. A clockmaker. Mr. Edelberg, this is your very last warning. If you haven't emptied the place of your bulky clocks within the week, we'll be forced to seize the whole of your goods because of the unjustified payment delay this has caused. Yours faithfully, Sir Dillery, Council President and City Lord. Alright, have we been in here? Nope. It's nice that they use the same key and weak locks in all of these. I don't think I need maces. Very suspicious shaped room. And that's where it came in, okay. I don't know, maybe maybe it just matches the shape of the building. It's there is a very strange void out there, huh? Hmm. I don't see any sign of a secret door, so either it's extremely well hidden, or it's just a strange shape of building. No, I'm going to leave these open if I if I pick them, because otherwise it's too, too hard to remember. Also, it means I can more easily run into the darkness if, if anything untoward happens again. Okay, that is all the rooms up here. Oh, now what's these double doors? Do I remember what that is? Where they go? Ah, just the top of the ramp. Good. Good, good. Where's that key? Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. Oof. Well, we can take all of this? Okay, we can't take the keeper statues. Uh, this stuff isn't making loot sounds, it's very weird. This should fetch a nice prize. Ah, I see. Oh, is that really slowing me down? Yes, okay. I collected all. It would have been good if those made some feedback sounds, but I guess. Oh, bespeak thyself and test my patience no more. No, oh, I've tested thy patience enough. <laughs> thy patience failed the test quite dramatically, as thy head shall now also oh! fail the test. Sleep and bother me no more. Okay, so now I have to get out again. Hmm. 
There's also that other chest in the room there with the beast. Hello. I'm not going to be able to make the jump between the moss patches. I guess I'll go slowly. I think a chest may be the last thing, and I, the only thing I can think to do is lure the beast out. I didn't... the beast. The bot. It kind of is a beast. Beast of a man. They have a beastly cannon. I can hear it. Why can't I hear it? The door should be closed. Did one of the AIs go in there, open the door and not close it behind them? Did they break the rules? Oh, the door is closed, okay. I think I'm gonna have to go down the ladder. Because with my uh, movement constraints like this, I'm not gonna be able to... Well, the jumping down onto the crate would be a bad idea anyway, I think it would hurt me. I guess this means I'm going out through the front door. Back to work. Oh. Oh, you get no medals for false alarms. I see the problem with the out the front door plan. <clears throat> Let's see what that was. Uh, looks like nothing. Okay. Well, I can get out this window. Right? Yeah, okay. All my, all my water arrows. <laughs> that was not really ideal. Oh well. Is that five arrows I spent? I still got three. I guess it's all right. Did I tell you? As soon as I find you. Yeah, he's gonna calm down pretty soon. If I'd had some mines, I would have used those on the bot instead, but I don't think I've flash mines. I guess the invisibility potion could have been an option there. Didn't cross my mind. Carry on. I want a piece of you. You'll yeah. pay for this. Yeah, this go, go run to your friends. I did not expect to make a uh, huge noise coming down from that crate. Sometimes Garrett is not in control of his own footsteps. That was it. A noise making arrow. Oh my god. Speaking of which, I've got one down here I need to pick up. Oh man. I thought I'd left you behind. Oh, when I get my hands on you, go run away. On, this way. Did he not run away? I'm gonna have to go out the front gate, aren't I? Do I have any other way out? I can climb back on those crates, but can I uh, get out there? 
Oh yes. Okay. but they can't get me up here. So the only way I get down from here is by uh, safely. Oh, I could drop onto the lamppost actually. It's a lot quicker of a way down than going back to the hotel. And keeps me in this part where I need to be. Let's try it. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, hang on, people are coming. Not sure. Usually these lampposts don't have collision on the front of them. This is slightly too close, it seems, for me to fall down this side. Let me just test this. Oh, I do have a slow fall, right? I might as well just use my slow fall then. Rather than, rather than rely on weird physics. This guy's coming back. Where's that the lady? Hello? Anyone there? Nothing there. Weird. Okay. Wow, that's a big banner. Reach it. What's the notice? Passage point to East Town. Please present yourself and your pass to the guard at this post so that he may convey the order to open the door to the guards posted close to activation systems 1 and 2. Because of the Corrigan's invasion, we are forced to restrict all trade or civil exchange between the different districts of the city to ensure your own safety. We do apologize for all the inconvenience caused by these measures. We could swim instead. I don't know what my plan is. And you know what? I guess we're going to wait and find out what my plan is next episode. So I'll see you then.